Hello, I'm Representative Jonathan Brostoff, and it's with a heavy heart today that I speak to you about the recent massacre in Las Vegas, the domestic terrorist attack that shook our nation. I want to start by saying, uh, you know, condolences, uh, love, thoughts, prayers to the families of the victims. Uh, at this point, we've had 59 reported dead and over 500 who were injured in this terrorist attack. And, um, you know, I, I just can't imagine the pain of these families um, whose loved ones are lost in this manner. And of all the victims of gun violence, quite frankly, across the country, not just in mass shootings, although we've had a ton of those, um, but across the board. We must remember, though, that thoughts and prayers are not enough. We have to change the dynamics here. Because remember the Pulse nightclub shooting? Wasn't that just recently? What about, you know, Sandy Hook? Uh, what about Columbine? What about all these domestic terrorist attacks? All these mass shootings happens over and over and over constantly, so much that we're almost getting numb to it. Just last night, we had five more shot, three killed. And that didn't even really get reported on because we've had so much of this sort of gun violence, it's almost become acceptable. What well, is not acceptable, and we can do things to prevent it, except for being prevented from sensible legislation, from a certain group whose leadership directly benefits from these acts of domestic terrorism and whose leadership is banning the flames that creates an environment for this sort of domestic terrorism. And of course, the leadership I'm talking to is that of the NRA. Now the NRA, the National Rifle Association, is kind of split. You have the leadership and you have the membership. The membership, are normal people like you and me, and a lot of them want responsible gun legislation such as universal background checks. The leadership is taking their cues from the gun manufacturers who are providing them with 74% of their money. Now, the gun manufacturers, the arms proliferators, want to make that money. The NRA wants to pass policies and keep them making that money so they can get more money. And they give money to politicians who advocate for it, or they threaten politicians who advocate against it. And I'm sure for sticking my neck out on this one, I'm going to get a lot of threats on this. But we have to change the dynamics, because no matter what shooting you're talking about, one constant remains. Now, you could be talking about a shooting where kids are getting murdered. You could be talking about a shooting at a university or a technical college. You could be talking about a shooting in a movie theater. Heck, you could talk about a shooting where Congress people are getting you know, targeted and shot up. It doesn't matter. The differences don't matter. What matters is the constant. The weapons, the guns used for this, and the environment created around that uh, sort of uh, negative, violent situation that um, creates this sort of thing happening over and over and over. That's the constant. So we find ourselves unable to do any legislation because the NRA will put their foot on the neck of anyone who wants to have reasonable policy conversation. And in this video, I don't want to advocate for one bill over another. There's a lot of good ideas out there. But we can't even have that conversation until we get the NRA leadership out of the way and get responsible measures forward and have that conversation. And that can't happen right now. So I'm calling upon you. I'm calling upon all the membership of the NRA. I'm calling upon everyone who this video reaches to have a real serious conversation moving forward where we, the people, get to be represented. Not just the gun manufacturers and the people who pay all the bills and buy off politicians here and buy off politicians there. We need the people to be represented, not the millionaires and billionaires who profit off of these sorts of tragedies. We need representation, and that means all of us have to get engaged, and we have to tell our elected officials, this is not acceptable, and we are not willing to take one more of these mass shootings as gun violence standing down. So I hope you'll join me, and this is for people who are NRA members, non-NRA members, everyone in between, in getting the NRA out of the way and moving forward on responsible legislation and having a real conversation about what needs to happen moving forward. Thank you very much, and let's stop these tragedies in the future.